Hey YouTube, it's Florida Deer here again with a quick update on the 1971 John Deere 140 restoration project. Since last time I haven't gotten a whole lot done, I did install these couplers. I was waiting for the adapters. They came in, so I took care of those. I had to wait for the left hand ball joint. I had one, but I didn't have the other one because it was on back corner. I swear it took like two weeks to get here. It wasn't that big a deal, but I've been caught with a bunch of other projects too, which is why there's a big piece of plywood there for bookshelves for my wife. Um, haven't done much else. I've just kind of gotten some stuff ironed out here uh, or laid out so I can, you know, put it together when it's, when it comes time. I did get in uh, my steering components over here. Um, there's some new parts here and here that I'll get into. I might make a separate video of that. I'm not sure because I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on line about doing the John Deere 140 steering unit so we'll see about that and also got into this was the engine in that tractor um it seems it, it did turn over but i just couldn't get it to actually uh, start um so i'm kind of doing a refresh with points condenser new coil resurface the head uh, new head gasket new carb i adjusted the valves actually the valves were in pretty good shape I'll adjust the governor as well. Um, following the uh, script that uh, Norm from iSafe Tractors uh, was uh, doing on one of his videos. Um, I do have another uh, John Deere 140 engine, K321. This one's out of a 1971 as well. Um, and then I did get this one going. Um, this is a 1973 um does not have the i'm replacing the the hood arrangement on it to match the older one because i think the older one was a better plan um this one's been reworked we did everything to this one it runs uh half decent i mean it runs pretty good but there's something loose on the on the bottom end then i'm gonna have to rip it out and take control of it and then or you know take make adjustments on it and then this is one of those aftermarket piece of crap um, starters, probably from China. I had gotten it years ago, but I had heard lots of guys complaining about these um, these units and stuff. And you can, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of marked up some stuff. You can see some shavings in there that it really starts up and scrapes and kind of stays engaged. So I'll be replacing that with one of the stock ones. And if one of the stock ones doesn't work, then I'll try to get somebody to rebuild it. But so I'm gonna take this engine out, put that one that I showed you first, uh, and see if I can get it running. If I can get it running, I'll run it a little bit in this tractor and then I'll put it in the project over there. Um, and then I'll see if I can get this one running. And uh, we'll, we'll check out the one that's in the tractor right now. And then worst case scenario, I actually have Two more K321s. Um, missing carburetors and missing mufflers. I only have I have five engines total, but I only have <laughs> two mufflers. So um, I'm hoping to come across another muffler at some point in time. I have plenty of points. I only have probably two good carburetors. I think most of the stuff on these is uh, worth uh, rebuilding. I think I can make three, maybe even four engines out of these five. Maybe even all five engines. I don't know. I had to steal some parts. Um, here, I'm gonna stole some parts uh, right here for that first one off the governor uh, governor lever, and uh, you know stole some parts here and there off a couple um, you know other pieces on these too. But um, you know we'll see what we can do. Surely I can get three engines, if not four, out of out of the total. And of course I have some extra extra. Um, if I ever need to upgrade that one, 1971 axle uh, to a stiffer you know stronger axle this is a one inch axle and then i have another one inch axle right here and then there's another extra uh differential unit that i got there as well so i do have a fair number of parts for the 140s and i have i think four hoods um i think there's one on the tractor two up there that you can see and then i think there's one in that box as well so um and then I got, a, I think, three or four PTOs um, and a couple other parts.
parts in there as well. Fuel tank. Uh, I'm short on mule drives though. I need to get some more mule drives. I don't have enough for all the tractors, but anyway, um, that was the quick update on it. Hopefully I'll have more done and I can share more uh, coming up soon uh, after I you know, get done some of these other projects that I'm working on. The bookshelf thing uh, for the living room has been kind of a, a big deal. So I've been trying to work on that a lot. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And um, if you made it all the way through the video and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.